actually just counted us down. So welcome to my show, Connect with Kim. Thank you for being here tonight. It's a great way to get together in this virtual format. We hope you enjoy the show. We're sharing new we share conversations, news you can use, and have fun. I'm a person who likes to support and empower and inspire everyone. So I created a show so we could stay connected. So glad you are here. So I'll go over the ground rules of the show since there's some new people on. I want to welcome Audrey to the Connect with Kim show. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Kim. You're welcome. So we're going to chance to get to know Audrey here in a little while, guys. But we're going to keep our microphones muted, um, cut down the background noises, case Shelly's cows decide to move or anything yeah. right now. <laughs> um, we welcome and encourage audience participation. Please save your questions to the end. This session is being recorded. If you have any questions about anything, we ask that you to save them and until the end of a show when we have a chance to talk. So a motivational message this week. I should pull that up. I'm, I just had it up a second ago, guys. It says, use your voice for kindness, your ears for compassion, your hands for charity, and your mind for truth, and your heart for love. So I, I enjoyed that message a lot. So that is a motivational message. So announcements. Um, so I know with COVID still going around, you guys are sick and tired of me announcing this one, but we got to remind everyone to do our part. Stay home when you're sick. Wash your hands. Um, wear your mask. That way we can knock this COVID out of the park. Um. So who's watching Olympics right now? Anybody? There's nope. a couple. There's a couple of people watching them. I am watching them. I love watching them. It's even though it's a day behind us or a day above us, but I still am watching it. Okay, so who's gonna watch the Super Bowl on Sunday? Man. So who's everybody going for? You guys can unmute your Rams, Rams, Rams. Oh, Rams. You. I'm gonna go oh, with Cincinnati. Yeah. Go Bengals. 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 Cincinnati. I go for no day. <laughs> Kim, Kim. What? Um, the the match won the basketball game on Monday. That is the woman is our town. Okay, so I'm gonna say that, okay, Chris. Chris is reminding us of something, but um, so the ladies team is in action tonight. That's why some of them are not with us tonight. They're playing um in Wasion, I believe, in Fulton County. Um, so the brew team won their regional game, and they play this coming Sunday at three at the community center. So I know there's a couple um of a that team on with us. So I want to wish you guys good luck, Mike and Derek, and the rest of your team in the next round of regionals. Um, so the white team plays at home tomorrow night at five, and they play a regional game Saturday at ten a.m. in Fremont. So. I know um, there's some people in Mike's background who's on that team. So good luck to everybody on that team as well. And so the other announcement is, um, so I, I want to wish all the basketball teams good luck in action and playoffs and home games this coming week. Um, and so I don't know if you guys watched the weekly yet, but Brent, um, told all of us on a weekly that all 16 swimmers who competed in the regional swimming meet got selected for um, state swimming, which is good. So all 16 are going of us are going to state, which I'm a swimmer, so 
Melissa is a swimmer, but she's not on with us tonight due to a basketball game. So um, that state swimming and state basketball is actually in BG this year. So we will make um, sure you guys get the information when it gets closer. So I want to give a shout out once again to all the amazing Special Olympics coaches that we have for taking their time away and helping us learn our skills and um, training us for as much as they can. I know they're so busy right now. A lot of them are helping out that the elder home, taking that over. So they're spending some time with us, but so I, I, I figured I would give a shout out. So I know Chris probably wants to do, but Stephanie's not on tonight and Stephanie would be bummed, but um, Kevin off. So we're going to play a game that said, if you could be any D Disney character, who would you be and why? That's a tough one. So I guess since Audrey is the most recent guest on the Connect with Kim show, I'll start with Audrey. And then you can um, pick any guests from there. Thanks, Kim. So the question is, if I could be any Disney character, who I would be and why? Yes. Okay. That is a tough one because I, I have a lot of favorites. I love some Disney. Um, I think I'll revert back to a childhood favorite of mine, um, which is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Um, I love Belle. I love that movie. Um, when I was younger, I used to spin around and pretend to be Belle. Um, but I also love just kind of the moral of that story now that I'm older and kind of understand um, seeing the, the beauty in people and seeing the beauty in, you know, people who may feel a little bit damaged or, you know, the beast felt like he could be or wasn't loved. Um, so I just, I love the moral of that story. And so that's why I would choose that character. So I'll let you choose somebody. Um, let's go. Let's hear from Thomas. Okay. Um, my favorite character from DC Jenner is Good Luck Charlie. And I love Good Luck Charlie because she's a little girl and she becomes a doll. Good luck, Charlie is one of my favorite shows too. Yes. You wanna go ahead and pick somebody, Thomas? Um I just you, Kim. You choose me. So I would be um Simba, Simba from Lion King. Um, I love Simba because Simba's always um Protecting Nella, or and I'm don't quote me if I'm saying the name wrong, but Simba is always a protector. I feel like so I I always look out for people, and I know um, Stephanie Kavanaugh, her dog is named after a Disney ride at Disney, and uh, it's Figment, so it's named after a Disney ride. And so she's probably bummed that she's not with us tonight, but she'll have to watch this show because she's all about Disney. I miss her. I know. I'll have to, we'll have to, you guys all have to call Stephanie tomorrow at my office and tell her you guys miss her. Let's see. Chris, I, you want to go since you're talking in the background? I is Spider Man. Okay. Why do you like Spider Man, Chris? I'm a. Spread web and cause the uh, five bad guys. You gonna fight the bad guys for us? Yep. I picked Shelly. Big Shelly. Okay. I don't know. Do you remember the Aristocats? I always liked the little girl Anastasia. I think was her name because she always would. You know, she was just such a feminine little girl, and I just thought she was cute. Really no other reason than that. <laughs> I just thought she was um, a little cutie. <laughs> yeah. 
What about your husband? What about my husband? I would like to be Woody from Toy Story. Mm. He's got lots son? of friends, lots of other toys to play with. <laughs> what about Neil? Is that what you're asking, Chris? I'd be Buzz so I can hang out with Woody. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys hang out all the time since your dad's yeah. taking care of your animals for you. Maybe yeah, I should yeah. be Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> and then your sister can be, um, is it, there's like another one on it. She can be Buzz or uh, the Barbie. The, <laughs> the one kid who owns all the toys. Oh, Andy. She would yeah, be Andy. Andy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can be a, can be a Storch family movie. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Let's see. I got to see who else is with us tonight. Let's go with Katie. Mm, Moana. I like Moana because I like how she sings and she goes for the passion that she wants to be in the ocean and she actually finds the stones and brings her island back to life when she gets back. Kim, who hasn't gone? Um, so Ryan hasn't gone. Just hasn't gone. Um, Derek has not gone. Uh, and then Mike was with us, but I think he left. Well, Jess. Um, I like Frozen. I've always liked Frozen. Um, the reason why I like Frozen is because I like to sing. Um, so yeah. Do you want to go ahead and pick somebody for us? Sure. Okay. Let's see, he might be muted. I can unmute him. Oh, there we go. Now can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I guess I'll go with um. I don't. Captain American, I guess, because he, he's, I just like him a lot, so. Captain America is good. Yep. And then, who else I got picked? Who else? Uh, Ryan has not gone. Ryan. Let's see his, I'll ask him to mute Um, I don't know, I, oh God. That's why I hate about this. Maybe, maybe, um, did I do that? Steve Urkel. <laughs> I like that one. You like Steve Urkel? Yeah, because every time he does something bad, did I do that? <laughs> Steve Urkel is a good one. Who do I have left to pick? I know, I know Shelly went. I know Jesse went. I know Kim went. I think everybody's gone. It's back yeah, to you then. I think so. Oh, another one that I like is um, Kim Possible, but that's, they call me, that's my nickname. But I like, um, and I'm not very sure much about Kim Possible, but I like, she has like all these like secret powers and stuff. That is my nickname. Um, does anyone else want to add any one else before we move on? Move on. Kim. Kim. Yes, Chris. Sandra, this Sandra is the, uh, the best by Zoom. Okay, this, okay, like, do you know what information, Chris, on that? Um, um, my best, my best by the, the, the website. Okay, if not, maybe is Katie. Do you want to help him out with us since you might know a little yeah. bit on that? It's a they're gonna play a game. It's um, you can make your own a dessert. They're making a dessert, they're making brownie balls, but you don't have to make the brownie balls. You can just join in, chat, even if your buddy's not on. It's a Zoom, my buddy's um, on. It, 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 yeah, it's on. Zoom link. So you can connect just like we do with Kim's show, but that's what it's all about. It's just, a, it's a Super Bowl thing. 
So if everybody's not involved in Best Buddies, I would encourage you guys to. It's a good program. Um, I Right now, I don't have a Best Buddy because um, she's not with the program anymore, but it's a good way to make new friends and get to hang out with your college buddy. So they have it in a high school program, but not here re currently. We're trying to get that switch. So, um, so that was a game. So we will get on the for show, because like Brent said yesterday, this was my special guest, and so I will go ahead and um. So it is my pleasure to welcome Audrey Stock. Since many people may not know what your work is about, can you please tell us about your work? I sure can. Um, I do see a few familiar faces. Maybe you recognize mine too. Um, but I work at the county board. Um, I am an SSA, so I'm a service support administrator, and I specifically work with ages um, like the school age youth. Um, so I think my youngest on my caseload might be six, and then I can work with anyone up to the age of 22. Um, so I'm sure many of you work with SSAs as well, um, but they're probably adults or work, you know, work with the adult age group. Um, so I work with the kids and the youth, and I think that's such a fun age. Um, I, I really like it and, you know, being able to help them transition to an adult, uh, caseload and an adulthood once they do turn 22 or graduate, maybe a couple couple years before that so like for example if somebody does not have an ssa how do they get involved in getting like one of you guys that's a good question so as long as someone qualifies for our, our services um they can reach out to our intake department um and ask for a referral for service coordination or to work with um, an ssa and then they would get assigned an SSA to whichever age group they're in. So whether they are um, a youth or an adult, they would get assigned to work with someone. Um, and then our supervisors are the one that that kind of pick and delegate, you know, which individuals work with with um, an available SSA. And there's amazing, there's tons of amazing SSAs. So. There are, you're right. <laughs> All the SSAs do a wonderful job. Thanks, Kim. You're welcome. Um, so who is your hero and why? All right, so I love the questions you sent me, Kim. Um, you had some thinkers in there because I have such a hard time picking just one thing. <laughs> Um, so I actually thought of a couple heroes, so I hope it's okay. I can share yeah. one. <laughs> you can share as many as you want. Perfect. Um, so my first hero would be my mom. Um, my mom, her name is Amy. Um, she is a wonderful woman. She's super kind, um, just very down to earth. She's a lot of, you know, the reason I am me is because of my mom. Um, she's just very patient and I like to think I learned a lot of those qualities, um, which are coming into play now in adulthood and with my job. Um, I've been told many times before I'm a very patient person. And so I definitely love that I have that quality, um, that my mom has been able to teach me my whole life. So she's just such a great mom. I can always, you know, count on her, uh, call her when I need her because I still need my mom even though I'm, I'm married. So <laughs> I always need your mom. So she's my, she's my first hero. Um, my second hero is my grandma, Sharon. So this would be my mom's mom. Um, unfortunately, my grandma Sharon passed away last May. Um, but she will always be someone I look up to. Um, she also is just very sweet and kind. Um, and she, she and I spent a lot of time the last couple years, um, because she had Alzheimer's dementia. So I would, um, go over and help take care of her because she lived really close to me. And so, 
um, even with dealing with Alzheimer's and, you know, everything she was dealt with, she would always laugh. Um, and the fact that she could just still enjoy life and just laugh and have a good time just taught me so much. Um, so I, I do miss her, but I will, she will always be one of my heroes. Um, my third hero um, was one of my professors. So I went to college at University of Finley and I actually changed my major halfway through school. Um, I originally was going to school to be an occupational therapist, um, struggled <laughs> with some of the classes, um, extremely stressed, just was not myself for the first two years of college. Um, and then I did not get into the OT program, um, although everything happens for a reason. So I met Robin, who was the head, or it still is, the head of the social work department. And that's when I learned to fall in love with social work and how I can help people. Because um, I knew I've always wanted to help people, didn't know what that looked like. Um, so she took me under her wing um, and taught me all that I knew. She to this day, I can call her up if I have questions, um, need some guidance, or just need need some help or a good laugh. Um, so that's another one of my heroes because she helped me fall in love and find the field of social work. So Amy, um, if you're watching this, or I'm sure she'll be watching this tomorrow when it's up on the website, but um, your daughter, Audrey, is an amazing lady. You Thank taught her you. to be a wonderful daughter. Thanks, Kim. And then Robin, I get I haven't met you, but the way Audrey's talking about you, you're amazing too. So you have to send this to both of them. I will. I'm sure they'll love to watch it. Yeah. Um, so what brought you to Wood County Border DD? Yeah, so I actually interned for the county board, um, gosh, over three years now. <laughs> uh, it feels like it hasn't been that long, but I was getting my master's degree um, at the University of Toledo and also interning with the county board so I can finish my master's. So I um, interned for 10 months. And then I loved it so much that I didn't want to leave. And so when I was done interning in May of 2019, I decided to um, apply for an SSA position and I got the job in 2019. So I've been here ever since. So were you interning with the SSA department? So I was. Um, I loved interning because I got to see more than just the SSA position. Um, I actually started off with um, behavior supports, um, the support specialist, and, you know, entered with them for a couple months. And then my second semester, um, I interned with um, Kathy Thomas with intake and eligibility. Um, but I got to shadow a lot of the SSA positions. Um, and so I think it was just such a great way to integrate me and you know what I can get involved with and all the positions through the county board um and it just I feel like made me a really well-rounded worker when I was able to accept my position I know Brent was saying one day he um interned with Woodlane before he started as a superintendent mm -hmm. yeah I hear lots of stories where there's been interns that have started with the board or with Wood Lane and then have come back. So what is your favorite thing about working at the board with County Board of DD? This was a hard one. <laughs> I have so many favorites. Um, so I guess my first favorite is my coworkers and the support system. Um, I feel like everyone is um, really a family unit, especially in the SSA department. I can go up to anyone and ask questions, advice. Um, everyone is so willing to just jump in and be helpful, um, which that's really important when you're first getting started in, in a job. Um, but even now that I've been here for almost three years, um, it's just really paved my 
my way of just having some really strong relationships and friendships too with my coworkers, um, which I cherish. So that's probably my first favorite thing. Um, my second favorite thing is the age group I work with. I love working with teenagers in the transition ages. Um, getting to do home visits and fun activities is my favorite too. That was really hard for me when we had to work from home and we're in the middle of the pandemic, but I was able to connect with a lot of my families and kids on my caseload by calling them um, since we called everyone every day that we worked with. So I, yeah, I just love my caseload. <laughs> They're all special to me. Well, if you need any help in fiscal, um, Shelly's in fiscal now. She would be willing to help you. I know. Yes. Yep. Shelly. Shelly's very special too to us. We, she is. I knew Shelly when she was up at the school. So. Yeah. And a lot of it, it's like a big family. Like Audrey said, um, everybody's willing to help out anybody in any time of need. Yes. Um, so what it where is your favorite vacation destination? I love this question because it is cold and I'm ready to, to go somewhere warm. Um, my favorite destination is the Florida Keys. Um, I can't pick just one. I love all the keys. <laughs> um, I've gone there five times. Um, hoping to go back again soon because my husband has never been, so I'd love to take him down there and explore all the different um, places and show him where I've snorkeled. And you know, there's a lot of fun things down there. I love the Keys as well. We mm -hmm. used to go many lobster um, dive in in the Keys. It was a big okay. mini lobster fest. That's cool. I've never done that. I've heard about it. I've also wanted to go down. Um, so there's a seven mile bridge that you know crosses over the ocean and they do um, like a run and a walk. Um, I can't remember if it's in May or what what month it's in, but I would love to go back down and, and either run or walk the seven mile bridge. That's amazing bridge. It's kind of scary if you run out of gas or something. <laughs> yeah. But I know what you're talking about with seven mile bridge. Yeah. Yeah. The keys hold a very special place in my heart. Um, I can share a quick story on kind of how I started going to the Keys. Um, so in high school, there's this program that I was involved in called Ocean Focus. Um, so it's a marine biology program and you have to apply for it. You have to wake up at 7 a.m. on Friday morning and go take this class before it starts. Um, you learn all about the ocean, um, ocean conservation, ocean creatures, environments, all of that. And then um, at the end of the year in June, you do a week in the Florida Keys and that's like your field. So like you take a field notebook down, we would snorkel um, at different sites um, and do research and it was amazing. So I did that as a student. And then um, for four years in a row after that, I was asked to come back as a chaperone. And so I would actually be teaching the students about the ocean um, about the habitats, how things, you know, kind of work together, about the different ecosystems. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's how I've always known the keys is just exploring um, and being able to teach and share my, my knowledge. I guess it's kind of a hobby of mine would be marine biology. So that's probably something a lot of people don't know about me. See, I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Learn something new each and every day. Yeah. So where was that school for we can all look into yeah. like a so I school? went to high school at um Bluffton. Okay. Yep, that's where I grew up. I know Bluffton. Mm -hmm. Um, so do you have a favorite celebrity crush? <laughs> um <laughs> This is again, this is a childhood one because I grew up with High School Musical. Um, so Zac Efron has always been and always will be my celebrity crush, Kim. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Zac. <laughs> no. uh, so how did you spend your 
holiday or uh like christmas yeah or your holidays yeah so i spend holidays with um my family and my husband's family um both are pretty good about, you know, we make sure we share time with each side, which that gets complicated when you first get married, trying to figure out, you know, when to do things and when to see everyone. Um, but we have a pretty good system. So we we go and visit my, my parents and I have um, two older sisters and they have families and kids. Um, love being an aunt. And then my husband, he has two brothers who are married and his older brother has two kids. So we have nieces and nephews on both sides. So we just spend time with our family, eat lots of food. My mom is notorious to having a full buffet out all day long. <laughs> and if you're not eating constantly, she asks what's wrong with you. <laughs> so I don't know. That's funny. Cause that's, you know, one, one thing for my family is we're just constantly eating and snacking and then my husband's family is just you sit down and have one big meal um yeah my husband so had to adjust to that he's not used to grazing all day <laughs> so maybe we have to come to amy's house <laughs> she's a good cook <laughs> she's a good well she sounds like a wonderful lady we can't wait to meet her so if she ever comes to visit you have to bring her around the board and introduce her yeah of course i'd love to with COVID, it might be a little bit hard, but I can. We'll see what we can do for you. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> um. So, if you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? And I know this is a hard question because you just said your mom makes a big buffet, so you eat it all the time. Yeah, it is a hard question because I'm not a picky eater. <laughs> I will try about anything, and I love spicy food. So this was a hard one. Um. It's also kind of fitting I have this answer because I just got done talking about the ocean, but I'd probably eat some sort of seafood <laughs> for the rest of my life if I could. I love fish. I love um, shrimp, lobster, all of that. So you have to, I know this year we, we used to do a prime rib and crab um, for special mix. It was an annual fundraiser event. But then it was prime rib and salmon, but they got rid of the crab, um, which broke my heart. But, <laughs> I know. Um, but I think it's happening this year, maybe. I heard a little bit about it. So, but yeah, I love seafood. Anything from the ocean I can eat. Yep. That's why we're good friends, Kim. Yeah. Um, so what is your favorite sport to watch besides your, well, okay, for, I'll give a little background of Audrey that I know in this area of hers, that her husband um, coached high school football. Was he, 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 was he the head coach? No, he was just, um, he's an assistant coach for um, running backs. Okay. So his um, football team actually just won the state title. And so I'm not sure if he's around, but um, right now or not. But so Audrey used to go every Friday night. I would ask her what she did on a weekend. She'd be like, Friday night football. That's where I'm at. Yep. You'll find me under the lights. <laughs> so is that, I know you probably watch other sports besides watching him coach football and stuff. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it. I think <laughs> I have to say I like watching football because it's half my life, but um, I really do enjoy watching football. Um, aside from, you know, watching high school football, um, I do like Ohio State Buckeyes, so go Bucks. If there's any Buckeye fans on here, yeah. you can see Thomas. <laughs> um, and then my husband's a season ticket holder for the Detroit Lions. Um, which it's okay if some of you say boo or, you know, want to apologize. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've, I've gone to a couple Detroit Lions games too. Um, so, but aside from football, I do like watching sports. So like with the Winter Olympics right now, my favorites are um, the figure skating and um, snowboarding. You got to watch Sean White. Yeah, <laughs> I, I watched his highlight last or earlier today did you 
Yeah. It's pretty cool. He's amazing. <laughs> yes. And then when the Summer Olympics are on, I um, enjoy gymnastics and swimming. Those are some good sports right there. Yeah. What about the one who did not finish yesterday, Shelly? Not Shelly, but... Audrey. Audrey. The one who didn't finish yesterday. Schiff- Sh- Michaela Shiffert. Oh. You see, did you see the highlights this morning? I didn't see the highlights, but I think I saw um, like a news article about it. I think it's rough. It's being rough for her to do that. I heard this right. Did she lose her dad? Yeah, she lost her dad a year ago um, prior to the uh, Olympics, which was hard on her. Um, but she's actually dating um, another skier. She has, three, like, three, she has three more events. Once, if she takes her time and just think it what's going on, she'd be fine. I know. It's a lot of stress on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, being an athlete, which some of us are, we can understand how stressful they are in a big situation. I was just telling Stephanie, um, since she's my swim coach, about this story that about a BGSU diver, which I'm sure Audrey watches diving, um, which is part of swimming. That the swimmer at age 11, um, she 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 got scoliosis. And very bad, and so she overcame that, and is um on the VGSU dive team right now as a senior. So they said, with with she overcame her trials, which is um I know it's hard as an athlete to overcome those trials, but I give her all the credit. So mm-hmm. what was that, Thomas? I I was tired. You're tired. I know, buddy. Me too, Thomas. I can't. Andre, why are you for Kyle? Well, hang on a second, Chris. Can we finish asking you two more questions and you one more? So, is your husband? I know you said you're, um, you like the Lions or you guys go to Lions games uh, as a season ticket holder. Yeah, so he he goes way more than I do. <laughs> so is he is he pulling for Matthew Stanford? Or is it he's he's going to struggle who to who to cheer for on Sunday because he wants to cheer for Matt Stafford, um, but he also wants to cheer for the Bengals. So he might he might split down the middle. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, if you could be anyone else, who would you be and why? You know what? I'm going to have to go with my dog, Duke. Duke's <laughs> He's got <amazing>. his life. <laughs> he gets to nap and sleep all day. He gets to hang out in the window and sunbathe. So, if I could be anyone, I would be my dog because I think he lives a pretty, pretty good, stress-free life. Yeah. Duke's, Duke's a cute dog. He is. We and we dog at? We dog at? Uh, he's out in the living room with my husband. Maybe we'll have to get Derek in if we talk football with him. <laughs> um, so do you have a favorite childhood memory? Uh, I have lots. Um, try to think if I can think of a quick one here. It doesn't matter. You can take your time. <laughs> um, I don't know. I have... Uh, so like I said earlier, I had two, I have two older sisters, um, who are like best friends to me. So my whole childhood was amazing. Cause you know, I always had my sisters to hang out with, um, they're six and eight years older than me. Um, so it was kind of a fun dynamic cause they were pretty much adults by the time I was in middle school, high school age. Um, so, uh, I guess my favorite childhood slash high school memory um is when I got to travel to Italy and Greece um that was pretty cool Uh, my parents were amazing in making sure I was able to get to go on that trip with my Latin class um and it's that's a memory I'll carry with me forever being able to travel and go over there and, and see those cultures and um get to see some of the ancient 
ruins, um, cathedrals, arts. So that's probably my favorite memory. Yeah. I So I have an older sister. Um, so I always had a close, and I got two older brothers. I'm the youngest. But I always had a close relationship with my sister. Um, so I know how that is. Sisters rock. They do. They're awesome. <laughs> Audrey's sisters, Audrey's number one, but you guys probably rock too. <laughs> they might be, they might be calling me on the phone tomorrow at work. <laughs> they might, they might. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, so I, that's all the questions I, I have for you. Is there anything else that you want to tell us before I open it up to the audience? I guess. I don't know. I Kim, I want to thank you for the questions because you really got me thinking on a few of them. <laughs> yeah, me um, and Rhonda actually, Kendall, my supervisor, um, sat down a couple months ago and came up with some of these questions. Yeah. So I'll give Rhonda some credit too on the questions. Yeah, tell her thank you. But I'll You're let welcome. it. I'll open up for questions. I know Chris. Chris has a question for me. What okay. is the title? What's my? Did you say what's my favorite color? Yeah. <laughs> um, so my favorite color is um, actually, I think the color of Jess's wall, it's like an aqua blue. My, it, my, it's red. What, you have say, friend? Say that one more time, Chris. You have say, friend, have say. Ohio State fan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a, you, <laughs> what best what team do you like? What basketball team do I like? Baseball. Oh, baseball. Baseball. I don't, I'm not really a baseball fan, Chris. I don't know if I have but a the, I the, the end, the end has new team. I didn't fan new team. What is your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite restaurant? Oh, what's my favorite restaurant? Thank you, Kim. Um, ooh. I would say the Finley Brewing Company. Has anyone been there? Where is it, by the way? Finley Brewing Company. It's in Finley, um, downtown on Crawford Street. How old is the dog? How old is my dog? Yeah. He's seven. He is a boxer mix, so he's quite large. <laughs> he's he's what, so what, cute, what, though. What's in your what's what man Sunday? What thing for about you, what man? What, what team am I rooting for on Sunday? You said the Bengals. You said the Bengals. I did. Yeah, Ryan's right. I um, I'm gonna root for the Bengals. No, no, you know Jordan, my Jordan. Mm-hmm. He was he 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 was I root for the Rams. Voting for the Rams. What was Jim? Um, you know Joe Burrow used to play at Ohio State and. That's right. Um, and Cincinnati has more Ohio State players on their team than any other team. So I think I'm gonna go with um the I'm gonna go with the uh, Bengals. What about you, Kay? The Bengals. What about you, Jess? Are you gonna watch the Super Bowl, Jess? Um that's only if I'm not asleep. <laughs> Just likes their sleep, guys. <laughs> what about you, Thomas? Yeah. Yeah, I was very tired. Thomas. What do you think? Thomas, what do you think, Thomas? Thomas, are you going to watch the Super Bowl? Nope. No, he's not. Why don't you ask Shelly? Sorry. Sorry, what do you want, man? What are we going for? The Bengals. Go Ram! Go Ram! <laughs> Ram! No. I know what. I know what. I think if, if whoever wins, if if Stanford wins, the Detroit will boo. Uh, will say boo or when he was playing for the Lions, they always suck with him. Do you think, Shelley? Ask right, boys. Neil. Yeah. I, I think whoever wins this game could have could be getting beat by the Buccaneers. I can't stand the Bengals. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Actually, I just wanted to say to Audrey, you know, when she said that her husband, you know, could be for Stanford, but then was also for the Bengals. So you can't lose rooting that way, right? That's, that is No matter true. who think, wins, you, I you're a winner. Half, half. Half, half, yeah. half and half, right? Half and half. That's the way to be. That's right. We're going to have a good day on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they're saying? I want to tell you something, Shelly. I, I was watching the... um. ESPN last night and and then I saw this I saw the um Hep rally on Monday and he said that if they win this on Sunday I think Cincinnati is going to be <clears throat> a big celebration without doing fires yeah yeah we don't need any vandalism we can have fun and have a good time without having to do all that crazy nonsense that's what a lot of people do after, like, like after sporting events. That's what they do. Why? That's what it's not good for them to do. Vandalize cars or no. um, go up on the um, the signs. Yeah. If we're gonna oh. party, we just gotta keep it um safe and no vandalism. I just uh, yeah, just celebrate, but no like. No destruction or any of that. Hey. Kim? Yes, Thomas? I'm going to go. I'm very tired. Okay, well, you go, get your, you go get your rest. See you next uh, week, okay? Uh, All right. Bye, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. Bye. I'm going to thank you. Welcome to the Kim show again. The, the you and uh, uh, your husband? Oh, <laughs> did you find my Facebook? Yeah, it looks like it. Tim, who you getting next week? Oh, hang on. I think the guest is on. Maybe the guest wants to say who it is. Yeah, got next week, guest. I am going to be your guest next week. Okay. Again? Again. <laughs> Oh, somebody guys. And they know what that means. If we have you next week, we can talk about all the fun we had at the Super Bowl. Yes. Yes, we could do mm. that, but we probably won't. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. You need to make him get to next week, too. I'm gonna you make, make him, him get. Him get. You Yeah, this is the way to guess. Yeah, yeah, this will be the guest. That's your inside, Kim. It's Shelly. I'm not joking. It's Shelly. You saw I like your name, Audrey. Yes, I oh, like your name, your last name. Oh, oh, thank you, Ryan. It's like S T O C K, stock. Yeah, I always tell Hi. people, like chicken stock, because some people think I say Scott with the S C O T T. So I say, like, oh, chicken okay, stock. Okay. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, sorry. Yes. Hey, you know April Watson? Shelly knows April. She'll be back, she'll be back tomorrow for, for work. Oh, okay. Good to know. <laughs> so, so, Audrey, is Derek around that way we can, like, um, tell him congrats on his victory, or would he be shy yeah. to come on? Uh, let give me one second. I maybe you can bring, maybe you can bring your dog. They love seeing animals. If, if, if okay, give me one second. I'll go get them. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Yes, Chris. Your haircut. I like your haircut. How's work today, Shelly? It was great. It's been I a. Was two I was too sorry. I was too I was too sorry. I did the uh, desk and. Uh, Two times. Five payday for us. Sorry, payday. Oh, is it tomorrow? Friday. Friday. Okay. Well, Audrey's back. I think you're muted, Audrey. I yes, I was trying to get my background situated so it wasn't too blurry. So here's my husband. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Derek. Hi. What go you? We have a wedding. Oh, what's his name? No, no. You want is is hard work. I wedding. She's hard work. Thank you. Me, 
Be nice on that. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Are you going to move that much? Yeah. So this is Derek. This is my husband. And then this is our dog, Duke. Hi, Duke. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he'll answer back. I think he's well, not. He's tired. Nope. Well, <laughs> like Derek, tired. congratulations on getting the state uh, with your team getting the state championship. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was great. What team was that again with? Carey High School. Okay. Yep. Carey High School, Division Six. You know, putting on that lamp would have made it better. Okay. The tooth shed, by the way, Derek. The dog? Or my yeah. husband. <laughs> the dog, I mean. Yeah. He does. Even though he's short hair, um, we find little hairs everywhere and have to get the lint roller out. Bye, Cam. The dog is Duke. Bye, Cam. Bye, Chris. Bye, Chris. <laughs> what kind of dog is Duke, like Shelly asked? Oh, he is a boxer mix. We got him from the Humane Society, so they're not really sure what the other half is. We're guessing maybe some Mastiff, um, just because he's very broad and has the Mastiff coloring. And he's he's a good dog. He is. He's the best. Mm -hmm. He's he's tired. <laughs> Audrey, welcome yeah. up. I did. He was on, on my bed sleeping. <laughs> does he sleep with you, Lynn? He does. He sleeps the entire bed. I gave in. <laughs> does anyone have any other questions for Audrey? I didn't know Shelly was saying something, so... I was just going to say it was nice hearing your story and learning how you got to where you were at. And it's always been a pleasure working with you. Oh, thank you, Shelly. I'll have to tune in again. This was a lot of fun. Thank yeah. you. So like we said, um, so I want to um, thank Audrey for coming on and spending some time with us tonight to get to know Audrey, a little bit better. Um, Audrey, you're more than welcome to come on with us another time. Okay, thank you, and, Kim. I'll have um, to do that. So next week's guest, they introduced herself, but I don't know if you heard that. But Shelly um, is going to be next week's guest. Very cool. And Chris, I mean, Chris was so excited that he was so excited that he left us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Derek, you have a nice wife. <laughs> Thank you so much. I agree. I enjoy working with her too. I work in a school, but I used to work in SSA with her. Um, but I still, I still stop in her office and visit. She talks about you. She said you you asked all the time about football, so that's great. Yeah, we play flag football. Did Derek come out and play in the last game? <laughs> no, because don't you guys play in the fall? Yeah, usually. He's a busy man in the fall. Yeah, I barely have <laughs> time can, to see my wife. We can arrange it around your wife and um, your football schedule for you. Can there you go. I'll do your <laughs> work on that. that. We'll put in a good word, right? Yes. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody, for coming on tonight. Thank you, Kim. You're a good host. Well, thank you. Good to see everyone. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.